So I might not get all over cleanse the hair and strip it of its original moist squeeze. Never go in with the carrot in two minutes. Re clean right here. It smells so natural. I'm going in with but guys, this in these two products for this is not my, and then you twist that off. So you can see the definitions of your new growth and so it is soft. Hair is straight enough to bring me through the week. washed it out i am now going to go in add a little moisture to my hair and then i'm gonna air dry because you know that's my regular process so we work in our favorite four sections as usual so of course i'm going in, going in with my zimmy thermal sheen booster and this makes your hair so super soft and you're gonna target the new growth first and foremost split the portion go between then you go down the shaft But guys, without anything, you can see how moisturized my hair is. And that is from what I did with my deep condition. So, that is a good thing. So, yeah. So, you add this to your hair. Then, I'm going to go in with my Cantu Leave-In Conditioner. This is a new one, guys. This is a leave-in conditioner. But I've never seen it in this type of bottle. So, I'm kind of liking it. The pump bottle. So, just a little. And I'm going to go new growth first. Split the portion and work my way down the shaft. And then I'm going to go in with my olive oil. If you have a lighter oil, it's even better at this point because olive oil tends to be a bit thick. But I'm going to use a very small amount. And that's what I'm going to do to seal in the moisture. Once you do that, you are going to get your white tooth comb. This is my favorite comb. This works well also. And you work, you know, from the ends up. But can you see the slip? How easy my hair detangles, guys? That's our main objective. That's what we want to achieve in wash day. So when you reach the root, which is four and a half months relaxer, you do like this to get rid of the tangles. Don't rip through your hair because your hair will go with it and your whole idea of stretching your relaxer is that you want to get your hair to properly detangle and all of that so that you can retain length so let's go again root and then we feel like it kind of starts right here you kind of just gently comb through that and then you go down that. so you see that guys look at this so guys, I'm going to just show you the moisture in the hair and you can see all the texture. You see the texture in the hair? That is from the new growth. But look how soft our hair is. So you're going to go through the entire hair. You're going to apply that same technique to re-moisturize the hair. And then guys, that is how you're going to hair dry and get your hair to be as soft as possible. I have moisturized all my hair while still wet. And then I'm just gonna sit, I'm going to do go about my business, I'm gonna do whatever I have to do, and then I am gonna go in and I am going to allow my hair to air dry naturally on its own. So normally when I'm air drying prior to this, I don't normally have all this all of this product in, but because I want to ensure that I get in the full benefits from all these moisturizing products that is why i'm putting that in because prior to relaxer day you have to ensure that your hair has that perfect moisture protein balance and when your hair has that enough moisture in it it gives it enough manageability and it makes it easier to comb through and maneuver so you don't have to be tugging and worrying on your hair so i'll check up back with you guys when i fully air dried later on it might not be as bright as now but i'll let you know how i have progressed and how long it takes me through my air drying process so guys see you in a few so guys it has been at least two, two hours 
my hair was dry before that but I just wanted to rest I was kind of tired and all of that so this is the version of my air dried hair and this is how it has dried with the products and you can see that it is moisturized you can see how spongy it is because that is from the new growth and the thickness and all of that, that you're seeing is because I am so much post relaxer like I tried to keep my hair down as much as possible when I was air drying not to manipulate it too much because I did not want it to be extra poofy as you know how my hair is my hair can get very big so I just left it when I left you guys um a couple of minutes ago I just leave it like that I did not maneuver it or anything until when it was like almost completely dry like about 90% dry then I combed it through again and then I basically went again and left it and then this is why I'm here so this is as straight as it's gonna possibly get super moisturized as you can see based on the products that I use and the roots super thick so that's gonna comb through so you can see so it is soft here is straight enough to bring me through the week and I think at least when I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do the relaxer I think it's soft enough for me to handle it so I'm gonna do a part so you can see because this is the hardest part when you are someone's post relaxer when you part your hair sometimes you can not see the scalp so all your preparation is to basically get to the point where you can part so it's easy to apply the relaxer without having to manipulate it too much and irritate your scalp so the only thing that I do now once it's at this stage is I'm going to twist this up I'm gonna add some coconut oil to the ends and I'm just gonna put it on the tip of my fingers so just so that my hair is not dry when I'm working it in so just to the ends for the most part then I just kind of run it through in one section and then I'm just gonna twist it do like a flat twist Then you're gonna just pull it up like this, back into the corner ish, and you're gonna pin that down with a bobby pin, and so that your ends are protected. So when you sleep at the back, the friction won't affect your hair. So you're gonna do the same thing with the next side, like. So, so we're not looking cute but that is fine <laughs> I'm now gonna get my handy dandy silk scarf you guys know I can't live without my silk scarf and then I normally bring it forward so guys yeah I tie it like this and then I proceed to go and sleep and I keep my hair moisturized and protected and everything on this and prepare basically for the next day and for the next procedure so guys stay tuned for the other step my pre-relaxer routine guys Ta -da!